Now, I bet you're all curious to see what I've done. <laughs> What's the set about the new uh, Millspool cabinet for orchids? Of course, there's going to be some minor adjustments in the future, but for now, I feel that I'm quite pleased. 95% pleased. So, follow me in short clips and see by each step what I did to accomplish the results I wanted. An orchid cabinet, the IKEA Millspool. Yeah. So, let's get rid of all of the stuff sitting there. Yes, bench and all. Well, first of all, some basic preparations. <laughs> it's not coffee. <laughs> it's soap water. <laughs> I'm going to clean the window, at least the inside of the window. Well, I can take that, the, <laughs> the other half of it later on when I decided how to uh, uh, sort out these guys. Oh, yeah manage um but that would be uh another story this is today's story so <laughs> just go and do it if you're gonna do it you're gonna do it right yeah so now the windows are clean and why am i gonna keep the uh hanging light bulbs is it really necessary could be could be i'm not sure yet there will still be some room for a couple of players behind it that is, <laughs> if I can reach them. If I cannot, there will be no such thing. Yes? So, let us move the cabinet there in place. So now the cabinet's in place. It looks really nice. <laughs> as long as it's empty. No. <laughs> yeah? Space for some non-light craving orchids on top. Not sure, but I need to use every space available when you live in a such small apartment as I do. Yeah, not small, but... For all these orchids, it will always be small, no matter how <laughs> large house you're living in or how large flat, it will always look crowded. But now, first things first. The sled tube is a miniature version of the one I'm, the ones I usually use. This is the uh, specifications. All right, all right. It is 2,430 lumen instead of 5,000, uh, which goes for the large ones. But, um, I mean, it's... <laughs> It's all right, yeah? It's better than most other LED tubes you can find out there, so, yeah. Okay, yeah? Um, see? Obviously, it works quite right. I love that light, really. Taken off amazingly well, plants. Very easy to uh, connect, look. So, this is how we need to do it. These guys need to go, uh, let's see now, yeah, this one first, like this, and the other one, like this, yes, and cover up the uh, empty part, well, safety precautions, I'm not going to use that uh, side of it, but uh, this side I certainly will stick it in there, yeah, you know the rest perhaps, yeah. I need to uh, put this one in place before I connect it, so uh, <laughs> that's the little con. <laughs> Just the hole to the top is very, very small, and it won't fit the switch. Yeah. So far, so good. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. At least I connected it right. <laughs> yeah, I need to put a timer and blah, 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 blah. Oh, the finishing stuff. You can see the small little tiny hole. Now with this one from, I think it's from Timu. I do believe I got myself a couple of very, very strong magnets. At least they, yeah, they're supposed to be very strong. Could hold about four kilos each, I've heard. I'm not sure how they work. Um, on what material? Not on this one, <laughs> that's for sure. Not on this one, but maybe, hopefully. This material, yay! Ooh. Oh lord, I can barely move it. That one would definitely hold a whole. Yeah. Oh lord, <laughs> these are great and quite cheap as well, if I remember correctly. So, uh, yeah, goodly good, great stuff. Uh, here I got a little bit of um, mm -mm. I shouldn't, uh, ooh. avoid danger of suffo suffocation. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, this is a uh, silicone um, silicone tape or whatever. I'm not sure. 
uh, for um, make the uh, cabinet solid so uh, the humidity won't get out from the cabinet through the holes to the sides as you can see there are quite yeah, plenty of gaps here you can see here maybe you can see yeah at least here you cannot see much there but at least to the front side so um, that's where I'm gonna add on the silicone yeah but uh, yeah I can do it in that, in that state anyway also I believe from Timu um, free shipment and they look nice I mean in there well until I find the magnets there must be somewhere but where on earth can I put them they arrived in the very same package as the grids so uh, and I know that I've been opening the grids um, that package just to see what they look like so and I must have checked I, I, I know what I, I think I held them in my hand even um, I, <sighs> anyways this will do not so bad actually to be honest I can push them backwards forward quite easily in any direction I want or if I would like to keep it straight <sighs> horizontally that I don't know so I might know later on so this is great so this silicone tape how to use it it's um, divided into two uh, yeah all right um, uh, one of the parts uh, to the right it's kind of the tape and the other one is not well I suggest you measure the door or shall we say the inner frame and cut the desired length of the tape yeah I'm gonna see too that it fits perfectly here no excess tape yes what happens when I yeah it covers the hole perfectly you can see I don't know if this is the best solution but it should have been tape on both sides but never mind it's all right yeah still closes okay yeah 148 centimeters so I don't need another one <laughs> yep so next step hey <laughs> it's a heat mat for seedlings yes stuff let's open it in order to keep the um, cabinet a bit um, more hot on the area surrounding it in the room. I wouldn't want to have it too hot in my room, but these guys like to be growing a bit harder. I've heard. At least it's worth a try. They kept this one at a discount this time, so it's not, it wasn't that expensive as well, so um, at least not this size, which doesn't seem to be very popular. Obviously, I need, needed to order it separately. Uh, in a way, they didn't have it in stock. Yeah. <laughs> So now let's see. Yeah, this will be a shed load to uh, try to straighten this thing out, but uh, maybe one day. <laughs> All right. Uh, regular plug. I think it was um, specification set around. Uh oh. Oh yeah, twenty watt. Um, and the size of it should be um, as described. 53 centimeters across, I mean wide, uh, 22 deep. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, let's try it out. Yeah, uh, suddenly realized that uh, it would have been better if the hole was to the, yeah, to the left or to the back side, but well, I think I got it all wrong. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It's okay, it's okay. The mat should straighten itself out um, when it's plugged in and hot. <laughs> yeah, and you should disconnect it when it's time to uh, clean it. And you can put um, 
stuff on top of it, uh, on trees. <laughs> so see too that there is no water directly onto it. I mean, water and electricity is not a good combination, is it? All right, um, yeah, I need to fix this. It's too sharp. Uh, this cable will be damaged, so yeah. All right, all right, let's see what I can come to think of as a solution. Well, guys, look what I found. The magnets. Inside something I thought was only a uh, beverage. <laughs> In order for the grids not to be damaged, yeah? Is this so? so shit! I was about to throw it away into the trash, yeah? When I suddenly realized that ah, maybe I should open them. Just, just to see. Oh, lordy. Yeah, now I got the magnets. I mean, but I was most certain that I've seen them. But uh, I must have been delusional. <laughs> yeah, now they're here. Ba -da -ba -ba, what is it? Yeah, this is a um, little Ikea shelf with net shelves. Yeah, I just happened to remember it. I, I got it almost six months ago, eight months ago. I'm not sure. Uh, it was a new project. Uh, uh, well, um, that was put on ice, yeah. <laughs> so this one landed in my basement. Uh, I didn't even open the package. Since I knew that one day it might come in handy. Uh, the thought was to keep it in my in my window for um, get layers and stuff, but um, it really didn't happen. I, 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 yeah, whatever. Now it's here, and now I'm going to use it. And I've been after... The uh, net shelves, kind of stable net shelves, nowhere to be found in this country, in this area. Perhaps on Amazon for a great amount of money. So, uh, yeah, very, very expensive. So, um, I decided not to get them. Um, this one was really cheap. This is Bagisby or whatever. Bagibu. <laughs> Ikea something. Bagibu. <laughs> <Bye. laughs> Anyways, strange names as always. Doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> Buggy boo. It's a um, it's a goat where a goat lives. I mean, yeah, a bugger. It's a goat, goat, male goat, yeah, <laughs> male form. So uh, of a goat. So um, and boo means living or staying home, perhaps. So strange name. Anyway. Let's not waste any more time and, yeah, assemble this thing. Put it together and we shall see what I'm going to do with it. I think you're going to be surprised. So, uh, yeah, by chance I happen to found a very, very nice solution for the uh, IKEA Millspo cabinet. If you do not find the net shelves in order for the airflow to work from your fans, well... It will not work if you have <laughs> solid glass shelves, would it? Um, and humidifier wouldn't work either, as great as it could be. <laughs> so, um, this is the perfect solution, yeah? Not so many different types of screws this time. So, easy, PC, look. And I believe you're going to start with the, uh, with the top. So, you can work with it lying down on the floor, directly on the floor. Uh-oh. Ah. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Yay, funny. It should be placed to the outside. So, it's much easier now to put the screws in place. Do not repeat my mistake and you won't get the grey hairs. I got lost ten minutes before I realized my mistake. <laughs> well, you guys, I bet the Millspo cabinet was a whole lot easier to assemble than this one. You know, the cheaper, <laughs> the more difficult to assemble. No, no, not in every case, but it happens quite often. So I did some measuring. Uh, one meter and 15 centimeters is up here. It's quite high up. That's how high the little uh, shelf is. 
actually is, shall we say. <laughs> to give some more weight to the words. Yes. So in other words, yay, in other words, the orchid that I, oh yeah, I was planning on putting to the uh, top shelf will not fit. Can you see? It's hitting the, the, the top. Yeah. So, and where to put it? Yeah. I need to have a shelf as high that will fit this one, this monster of an orchid. Yes. So, let's measure her. Yeah. This orchid is about 50 centimeters high. And in between the shafts, it is. Let us see now. <laughs> Let's start measuring the, shall we? About 35, yeah. 35 centimeters. As you can see, these are a couple of orchids I have decided to uh, add into the cabinet. And that shelf. Yeah, we'll fit them quite, yeah, quite precisely. Otherwise, I will put this one on top. That will be a little bit more space, but not much. But a bit too much light, so we shall see. But anyways, let's put the shelves in place. Well, before I do anything else and decide whether I should put uh, uh, the middle shelf here or not, or skip it all together, um, I uh, obviously I need two shelves where they should be <laughs> added. Yeah, in order to put the little um, grid, to the one that will stabilize the whole lot uh, in place. Yeah, I think this thing needs a little bit more stability. Yeah, I could use it, and I can also use the little grid for which I'm gonna yeah be there for hanging stuff. Yeah, here. Yeah. You got a grid for free <laughs> to hang uh, mounted orchids or whatever you decide, depending on how high the humidity level will be. As you can see, this is a monster of an orchid, isn't it? She's even larger, and she looks larger than I, I uh, yeah, than I was aware of, <laughs> shall we say? So, um, <laughs> in a couple of years, well, at the time she will outgrow it, even in a way, I think. But we'll see. They can grow quite wide I've noticed the wrinkle style is orchids yeah the name Gigantia is there for a reason yeah so uh but uh what what use do I have of an orchid which won't bloom so uh I want to put her into the very best conditions suitable conditions for her so I heard that other people have done so I'm replicating a bit and um, picking the yeah, bits and bobs from everywhere <laughs> and uh, put them all back into my own concept in a way yeah so let's see well I smooth up the um, sharp edges with some nail polish <laughs> preferably a uh, similar tone color tone so the cables won't be damaged yeah when I drag them back and forth <laughs> and stretch them I will yeah most often it happens, yes, when you're a little bit ruthless. So, yeah, just for precautions. Well, we're getting there. The weather station is in place, as they call it, high Bermuda. Uh, quite low humidity and quite high temperatures. It's higher than inside the room. So, yes, that should be higher, so that's great. Maybe when the sun uh, hits it, it will be quite hot. Well, here's the beautiful grow LED lights. Like this. It's quite beneficial and quite invisible as well. <laughs> Look, the specifications. Blue, 455 nanometers. Red, 660. Full color spectrum. Look, I already have it here. And it's not distributing any red lights. It's a uh, beautiful, beautiful light. So uh, it's not going to disturb the appearance of the cabinet. 
so was added on to this wheel inside this wheel and um, so one uh, one of the eh? one of the ends and the other one does look like this so you need to connect it this one to uh oh this one and that one you will connect to the large adapter it's quite power consumption um but uh 23 watt that's not so much but uh uh in return you won't need to uh use several devices mm. <laughs> And that fact on its own will save you quite a good amount of electricity. So um, I think this will, in the end, eventually be more uh, affordable and economical. Good old stripes. What would I do without them? Yes. Well, and now I want it to go down here so we can benefit from sight. Yes, I will. <laughs> I certainly am gonna use it all. Yes, every inch of it. Now it looks like a Christmas tree. <laughs> that fan is a little bit noisy. And here, that it all goes away. I close the door so it's not disturbing. Oh. You can see. The light is not disturbing either. It's natural daylight. It's a very, very flattering light. Yeah? That was the right word. Flattering for the orchids. They even look better underneath that light than they do in reality. Yeah? <laughs> oh, not far from uh, uh, putting the orchids in place. I'm not so sure about the heat mat. I, I will see... Um, what the temperatures looks like in a bit when the light sources has been uh, on for uh, some more time they all will distribute a little bit of um, heat but not much it's LED but the sun's gone so um, naturally there will be less heat but it's a good thing there will be a natural drop in temperature quite high amount of drop and that could encourage some blooms so good old Humidifier. Here we go again. Hmm. I um, put it to a timer and I want to go on a couple of times a day, not all of the time and not for a too long period at a time. So uh, I can adjust it when I see where this is going. Where this is heading, all right? It's already 65. I don't know if you can see 65. So, well, yeah, it's on. Yeah, it's working. The time is working. So, this fan couldn't stand the steam. So, it's kaput. <laughs> it's the only thing on this earth, I believe. So, instead, I had to uh, use this one. And the humidity stays level at uh now it's 56. It's not much, but uh, I mean, the other one was blowing too immensely, a little bit too immensely. So um, it went down to around 40. And that's even lower than it is a normal uh, humidity level in my room without any uh, humidifier at all. So what's the point? Yeah. I'm having a humidifier when it's going to be 80 one minute and 40 20 minutes later. Ah, no, I believe in a bit, bit more steady amount of humidity. Yeah. So I went to Timu and got myself four new ones. I know that these guys uh, aren't very uh, long lasting, but are very, very cheap <clears throat> on the other hand. So, uh, and the waterproof one, yeah, they were selling waterproof ones on Amazon. Twice the price as this one, of course, but uh, I thought, well, if it lasts longer, yeah, it will be cheaper in the long run. But, uh, well, I was badly mistaken. 90 euro, 90 euro delivery cost. So, well, 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 
there have to be four regular ones. But now it seems to be working. Everything is in place. The timers are all set. One for each kind of lamp and uh, uh, one for humidifier. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> this one is getting ready for some blooms. Yes, I will observe it about one more day. Then it will be perfect to fill it up with vendacious type orchids. Yeah, it's quite tight. Yeah, can work. Yeah, I went for this one. It's exactly the same width suits perfectly, yeah, but it's a bit more flexible than the green one there. Well, taking up space for no real purpose is not negotiable. <laughs> At least not in my apartment and certainly not in my new beautiful set up IKEA Millsburg cabinet. So I threw out <laughs> the humidifier, which didn't have a hole here, and found my cheap six euro one in the basement from eBay. It's still functioning, so um, I went out to a hardware store and got myself a flexible little plastic tube. Yeah, but in through the hole, with the exhaust pipes to the top. So I. I think I do not want the um, humidity to go under 60, so I'm, I'm kind of adjusting it whenever I come to think of it. And I tried out the Gastrochylus, Bellinus and uh, Japonicus. Well, yeah, they really didn't like it in my other cabinet, so um, they are, after all, vendacious type orchids. And maybe they would like to have the roots drying out or drying off a bit before they get soggy again or wet again. This one's going to be a bit harder than the one I have in my kitchen, the larger cabinet on the bench. And my Phalaenopsis robot ones, yeah, <laughs> got another new home. <laughs> so I moved them from that shelf, which now consists of Cymbidiums. And yeah, they can benefit from a little bit of uh, daylight here. It's quite low light orchids anyway, so yeah, a good spot, which I didn't really uh, include. Extra space, I can need that. So, well, let's prepare the orchids, which are supposed to be in this cabinet, yes, and see what we need to do with them before we put them in here. Here you can see the plants which have been uh, showered and a little bit prepared already for the cabinet. I want them to be fresh and clean before I uh, put them there. So, now they're back <laughs> to their original state. Isn't that strange? But I always love to try stuff out. In some cases it works very very well and in a few occasions not so well. But overall I think I generally speaking grow orchids quite well. So now easy maintenance. Only bring in a bucket of water and trrrt, splash them off <laughs> and hang them back again. I don't want to bring any of the orchids from the room in here to the kitchen. No, it's going to be easy maintenance. Otherwise, it won't be done. I have own I have three hundred plus orchids, so uh, I need to find out solutions for them to be cared for. Very, very simple. And this giant, can you imagine how tall she grown? Do you know what it is? It's just the tag stuck, almost stuck. The I'm a focus lobby eye. It's grown uh, three times the size or more. Last two years, I think. Three. Yeah. The broad Ashna world chase. Uh, I would like to clean her leaves before she goes into the cabinet. Some milk. Pure milk. 
see the difference? Yeah, I've been washing them off. In my I showered them off in my bathtub, so see how much calcium and other stuff got in the water. Even though I have quite soft water, still. Can improve the appearance of the orchid quite easily. Can make an effort. Yeah. Get set go, ready for the cabinet. Yeah, look, it's real dirty. Now she can photosynthesize better yeah. and grow even faster. <laughs> that's it, that's needed. <laughs> now, nah, I'm really looking forward to that, that day when she finally blooms. Now I'm a folk. Means two different types of flowers on the same stem, same spike. Ring stylus gigantia orange. I guess it's the same story with this one. I flushed them. Yeah. The one with still with good roots down there. Uh, I flushed them, and now I switch stake. It's almost rotten down there to the reservoir, and it will easily become molded when in higher humidity. So, yeah, a little bit of milk, see if it helps. These guys as well. Yeah, this one, that's dirty, but well, won't hurt anyway. And the lovely Retusa, also a species, the foxtail orchid, as to say. Somebody asked on Facebook, uh, what does a foxtail orchid look like? They refer to them as foxtail orchids out there in the stores. But this one is actually the real foxtail one. Really style is as it still is, but this one has the longest flower spikes of them all. They really, really look like foxtails. Yes. And um, here, the Dibonara Malonia. I don't know how many times I said that name. That's a make a bloom. Yeah, switch spikes. Uh, switch stakes for her. So she stays, I mean, grows up right, not in any other stupid direction. Yeah. That's the purpose of the stakes here. Whoop. Not to destroy this poor kid. Yeah, and a bit of milk stuff to her. I think she looks gorgeous. And she's actually potted up and stuff. And she likes it, so I'm not going to disturb her, just because. It's, it's just silly. It's a lot of different things in her, in her heritage. This beautiful the Tupanara Manonja. Ah, look. She's uh, potted up in charcoal and lots of gravel and stuff. So quite airy. Yeah, I can almost not see it, but I bet you can see the heavy amount of good green roots through the frosted pot. Yeah, it's doing splendid. Now this non-blooming orchid is going in there as well. <sighs> Never blooming orchid. Well, I haven't had her for so long. I mean, it's the um, Ringo Stylus Celestius Blue. I think she's reclassified now to Vanda. I've heard. Yeah, somebody told me that. Give her a good amount of light and she will bloom. Okay, so I did. But uh, <laughs> what I forgot to listen to, the fact that he also told me that Give her good amount of humidity and good amount of warmth. And she will bloom. So, looks better with less light. It was almost approaching yellow. So, um, so. But um, I think now we're not in a dry condition anymore, very soon. I'm going to keep her bare rooted. As she's still, I keep the mount, the plastic, good plastic mount, which she arrived on. So, I'm simply just going to give her a bit of water now. And... Yeah, trim off a few bad ones, but yeah, it's a good orchid. So, the project's ready. Heat mat is in place. Gives us a difference between, yeah, three degrees Celsius from the temperatures in the room. So, not much, but uh, it feels quite hot in there when I reach in and stick my head in there. A couple of mounted orchids there, some warmer growers, Gastrochylus, Pudangis, Epidendrum, and so on. A couple of smaller banders, a few, uh, <clears throat> not to say all of my Ringostylus are in there. 
Um, my beautiful look at her. Or him. Dime of focus, love the eye. Three times the size now. From when I got her. So it's a fast growing orchid. Who would have thought? And isolation silicone tape. Even here. Yeah, that's new. And the tube's hidden here. Behind the leg. So, it's, yeah, that space is not even uh, being used or shall not be used. So, it, it doesn't take up space. Only looks a bit uh, tatty, but yeah. It's okay. It shouldn't be too picky. And, well, there's still plenty of time to adjust it and arrange stuff in the future. This doesn't need to be permanent. But, uh,. I think we reached a good level of humidity and all. It stays around 60, 55 to uh, 80 percent humidity, so uh, there's a fairly good amount. Yes, and it won't leak out down to the floor. So I like this setup. I really do. Maybe the light is uh, not sufficient, but we shall see. There aren't actually highlight orchids, not supposed to be, but the vandas are a bit more highlight, but well, we shall see how they're doing in a while, so we can adjust stuff later. Thank you guys so much for watching this project. Yeah, hope you found it well, and yeah, hope you like the way I did it. And we can see an update quite soon on it. So, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, and we should talk soon. Hope we're going to see each other in my next one. Bye-bye, guys.